The best piece of advice I've received actually came from a book and it's called The Four Agreements. Be impeccable with your word, always do your best, never make assumptions and don't take anything personally. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. The best piece of advice I've received is to start my own practice. People like doing business with somebody that's honest and that opens the door to further negotiations and difficult situations. I was working with a colleague, Karen Kirby, and I had been working for her part-time and doing guardian nurses part-time. And she said, you'll never do this until you take the leap and do it full-time. So she basically fired me, <laughs> but it was a good thing. To surround yourself with winners, to find people who are passionate about what they do and people who are way smarter than I am. One was from my mother, which was get an education. And number two was, there's plenty of pie. Sometimes you have to fire a client, and that has come in handy, unfortunately, more than once, but has saved me a lot in the long run. Think big, but be small. So as you become more successful, don't forget to do the little things that got you to be successful. The biggest lesson I've learned while growing my business was not to take things personally. Business is business. Not only is ethical behavior important in business, it actually comes back as positive financial results. The biggest lesson I think I have learned is not to wait too long to make tough decisions. Let your intuition play a role. It's not about Patricia Claybrook. It's all about the folks that work for us, that provide the service and helping to make their lives better. Over-communication should not be underestimated, and specifically in the area of financial education for our families and all of the incredible resources that are available to them. I think the leadership skill that's been the hardest for me to master is delegating. I am a doer, I want to get in the trenches, and it, I find it very difficult to sometimes take a step back and say, hey, maybe it's okay to allow another person to perform this function. To let people have autonomy, to let them grow, and to be individuals on a team while still working with in the Fiori Ruble space. It's been a journey for me because I'm used to doing it myself, but when you hire the right people on your team, then it becomes a little easier. I'm strongly relationship-based and I hate numbers, so I've worked very hard to become a well-rounded CEO of my company. Communication skills. Understanding that not everybody communicates in the same way and understanding how to communicate effectively uh, with my staff, clients, and candidates. Developing a healthy sense of humor. So showing that lighter side and humor, I think, can help a team immensely.